Hello, welcome to the Korea's channel. I'm Lee Hae Sung, host of Korea's Focus. With the global energy crisis adding on to the climate change emergency, the energy policies in each country have begun to change. Today, we'll be talking about the energy policies and the energy industry, which are closely related to our daily lives. We have invited very important guests, so could you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone, my name is Lim Chae Young. I'm Senior Vice President for Innovative Nuclear Reactor System at Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute. Hello, my name is Ji Young Kim. I'm the Deputy Director of the Nuclear and Scientific Affairs Division of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Nice to meet you. It is no exaggeration that human civilizations have evolved mm -hmm. alongside the development of the new forms of energy. So mm -hmm. could you tell us about the types of energy that mm -hmm. have changed mm -hmm. our living environment? Oh, sure. Well, we all are familiar with the uh, coal, oil, and natural gas. Mm -hmm. uh, they are called fossil fuels. We can also get the energy from nature, like the shining sun, blowing wind, they are called renewable energy. That's and lastly, like environmentally friendly. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Lastly, there is a nuclear energy, which is coming from nuclear fusion reaction. With the growing energy crisis around the world, mm -hmm. uh, countries with high dependence on energy imports, such as Korea, are concerned about the upcoming cold winter. It's, mm -hmm. it's freezing outside. Mm -hmm. So, um, What's happening now and what can we do about it? I actually came from my office where we are uh, obliged to keep the room temperature under 17 degrees Celsius. <laughs> yes, and this is tackle the energy crisis. <laughs> so I'm actually very happy to be here because this place is warm and cozy. <laughs> but anyway, we have a very high energy price. And this is since the war in Ukraine. And the energy has really become the issue of national security. So what can you do about it? I guess for the time being, we need to use it efficiently. And for the long term, we will have to diversify energy sources and accelerate our efforts for energy transition. Well, climate change is one of the most urgent and crucial issues which we are facing. So we should reduce fossil fuels, UCG, and increase the renewable energies and nuclear. Most of countries set their energy policies in that direction. Since you mentioned about nuclear energy, mm -hmm. let us learn more about nuclear energy and nuclear power plants sure. through a true or false quiz. Nuclear power plants are extremely dangerous and are far from environmental friendliness. True or false? So the answer is... False. False. Contrary to the general perception, nuclear power is one of the safest energy sources. Based on the statistics, the death rate from the coal is much higher than the nuclear. And in terms of environment, well, of course, nuclear does not create any kinds of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases. And once we use the nuclear power, those uh, radioactive waste will come out but we can control all those radioactive waste in a safe way and environmental friendly way. Recently, the small modular reactors are in the spotlight for being a source mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. decarbonized energies. So what makes the SMRs special? Well, SMR is a small modular reactor, which means smaller than the uh, conventional large nuclear power plant. Oh. So it is much safer than the large nuclear power plant. You can also build a uh, SMR plant in a shorter time period mm -hmm. compared ah. to the large nuclear power plant. I also heard that you won't need lots of water for uh, that's the right. SMR because I've seen many uh, small mm -hmm. countries mm -hmm. uh, that uh, wanted us to help them with the SMR technology and they mm -hmm. all said we want some technology that doesn't really need lots of water. Okay, so on to the next question. SMR is only available abroad or in the remote future, true or false? Oh, the answer is... False. False. Well, actually, Korea is the first country who designed an SMR mm -hmm. technology in the world. First we country? are the first. Wow. Yeah. It, is, it is called the SMART, System Integrated Modular Advanced Reactor. It's the name of the SMR. Mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it obtained the uh, license remove uh, design approval 
from the regulatory bodies mm -hmm. year 2012. It's a 10 years ago. So we already have our own SMR mm -hmm. design. And now we are starting to develop the advanced version of SMART, the next version of SMART, which is called ISMR. Okay, so I'll give you the next quiz. Nuclear power plants are a declining industry disregarded in developed countries. True or false? False. Oh. Many countries like the United States of America, Canada, UK, France, such as developed nations, they are supporting the nuclear industry mm -hmm. with the various incentive systems. In case of SMR, so over 70 different types of SMR are under development. It is very popular mm -hmm. and it is uh, it's a, some sort of emerging industry. So let's move on to energy policies and the energy industry in Korea. Since the start of the new administration in Korea, what are the future prospects of the government mm -hmm. about the energy crisis and energy policies? Mm -hmm. The government has announced new energy policies last summer and it focuses on several measures to establish a feasible and re reasonable energy mix and strengthen energy security and increase exports of new energy industries and capitalize on them as new growth engines. Nuclear power plants are our new growth engines and the government aims to export them, uh, 10 of them actually, by year 2030. For example, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs designated eight embassies abroad last summer to support the export of nuclear power plants. They play a critical role in collecting useful information, real time, and establishing networks for potential contracts. We had a very successful case in the Baraka nuclear power plant. I think you might have heard of it in the UAE, United Arab Emirates. Where does Korea rank in the world's mm -hmm. nuclear market? Well, we are on the top. <laughs> I believe. We built uh, 27 units of nuclear power plant mm -hmm. in Korea and another four units in United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have plenty of experience to build nuclear power plant. Quite uh, long history. Yeah, quite long history and it's a continuous, uh, it's a, those continuous uh, uh, commissioning mm -hmm make us uh, some experience on this uh, built nuclear power plant on time, mm -hmm. on budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, competitive edge in the nuclear, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. global nuclear mm -hmm. uh, industries. Okay, so today we discussed the global energy crisis and energy policies, industries that are growing in significance. And lastly, we always ask our guests for a song <laughs> recommendation to wrap up our episode. So, oh. could you <laughs> tell us about your song Yeah, it's, a, it's a so honor. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to recommend this, uh, the song titled Blooming by IU. Ah, Blooming. Yeah. Oh, are you a fan of Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Is the song? Related to today's topic? No, I don't think so. Actually. <laughs> but I'm a big fan. It can be related because it has high hopes for a warmer winter. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> so we can combat energy crisis. Yes. We want to, you know, grooming those uh, nuclear industry in Korea again. Oh, beautiful explanation. Thank you. And thank you for your precious time with Korea's focus today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.